Hi guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. Join me for a craft with me video. Let's make a friendship journal. So as my video title indicates, it's all about Jane. I'm going to be using my Jane Davenport stash. If you have her washi, washi tapes, collage paper, stamps, and paper pad, come and join me for a little crafting today. I'll be listing what we'll be making. So for this part one video, we are creating a cover and an accordion insert. A little background on a friendship journal. It's basically a booklet that you send to a pen pal or a friend where you can uh, talk about yourself or about your friendship and include some wonderful crafty goodies. So let's have a look and see which pattern uh, we'll be using or which sheet we'll be using for our cover. I really love this strip collage. I also really love uh, the yellows on that sheet. So I am thinking of making a spring themed uh, friendship journal that I'd like to send out to a friend. So I've picked a few of these. So I just have to decide which one's best. Just to show you a little template we are making a laminated cover. Here's one that I made that I'm going to be using for my ephemera. So I use the, the swatch uh, print. This has a Velcro cover. So this is what it's going to look like. And now we are going to pick which one of these sheets is going to be on our cover. Really like this one, but um. I kind of find something else. This one's really beautiful as well. But I, I'd like to see something with a little bit more, probably more patterns and colors. And I am, with this one right here, I see traces of florals, which I think would be perfect for our spring theme. And I really love the pinks here. So I am going to use this for the interior of our cover. So now it's time to score our sheet of paper here. And then we shall prepare our cover. So here's my scoreboard and I've forgotten to open it for just a second. So we're going to score this sheet. Okay, let me just lay that on top. Now this sheet measures eight by nine and a half, nine point five inches. Now the actual cover is going to be a four by six size. So first up, we're going to score it right side up or not. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out which side of the paper I am going to score it because I want to keep the right side as the front cover. So I'm just fiddling around with my paper and trying to decide where to score it. So first one is at six inch mark and at the second side we are going to score at our four inch mark here. Let me just flip that real quick. So we're going to score at our four inch mark and I'm counting there and then we are gonna do it again at the four and a quarter mark. So we're creating a gusset over there and I'm moving it over just to make it a little easier and scoring again at the four inch mark and another quarter of an inch and so now we have scored our paper. Now I am scoring this and I'll show you why because we're going to be laminating it'll be easier to fold it rather than scoring it after. So now I'm going to cut off the excess uh, sheet there that we don't need. And then we are going to decorate the front of our cover before we laminate it. So I'm just... So feel free to use a different paper collection. If you don't have Jane Davenport, uh, pick the paper collection you'd like to use. If you'd like to do a spring theme, anything uh, that you'd like to use in your stash. So now that we have this, I'm thinking of putting some extra art on there or mixed media. So I see these collage 
napkins or paper that she has and I really like what that says laughter I'm just picking out which image will fit best on the background it looks like we have some faces here like the yellow one I'm sure that's gonna stand out let's open it up and see what's in here this yellow one's nice too I also like that blue one over there we also have this large image but I think it's too big for the front and I really like the serene look on this girl's face so I think I'm gonna go with that one so I'm gonna put that bucket or bowl aside and we are going to cut this to size and I'm gonna decoupage it on the front of the scrapbooking paper so I'm gonna speed through this process so that our video isn't too long so I'm gonna cut out that image and I'm just trying to figure out where to place it here on our cover so I um, love decoupage projects they're really fun it's great to create layers for your mixed media projects so let's this is my first time uh, trying out uh, Jane's uh, collage paper here so let's have a look and see how it holds up so I'm just gonna lay down some Mod Podge and this is just my process I don't know people have different ways of laying down their napkins this is how I do it and then I'm gonna just layer it with some Mod Podge on top to adhere it to the page so after that we are going to add just a few more details to complete this cover before we decorate the inside. So once I'm done decoupaging our little napkin or a collage cutout, if you have a blow dryer, um, I, that's what I use to just dry my decoupage piece real quickly here. And now I am going to just make sure it's dry. Now we're going to decorate the inside. And I picked out that pink piece of paper with that lovely image of the lady with the floral um, design on her top. So I'm going to cut this to size again. And again, we are doing a four by six. So scoring at the four uh, inch line and then cutting across or scoring at the six inch so we have two of our pieces that we can lay out so I'm just cutting that and now I'm going to glue it on top so I love this little color with the gold I mean the rose so we're gonna glue it down here now before I do that um, I'm just gonna trim a little bit of the paper there where uh, the tear was, the perfect line, yeah. So just going to trim that so it looks a little cleaner. And then at the quarter of an inch score line, I want to dress it up with her washi. And I love this washi. It has some um, pencils, some paint brushes. I love the black and white look to it. So I'm just going to put that to decorate our spine or gusset and here you go and then I'm gonna do the other side as well I'm also using a thicker washi here for the flap that's for the closure and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down so I've just run out of glue here so I'm using my other big Elmer glue stick and now we're going to adhere that to the first panel of our cover so once we're done with that we are just going to trim the excess washi that's hanging on the side and kind of refine our cover here So comment below if you have made friendship journals and what have you included in it. 
Um, the first one I've seen was uh, from Crafty Hodges. She made a, a great flip through of her friendship journal and it was something she had sent where she did uh, journal entries about her daily life before mailing it off to her pen pal and also just kind of talking about their friendship through the years which I thought was awesome. I've made some pretty uh, wonderful uh, friends here in our snail mail community and would love to send this off to a friend. So now I have uh, the colorful washi strips uh, flat stickers here and I picked one that says Queen of Everything which kind of matches uh, the fact that she's wearing a crown and now I'm just looking for something else uh, on top I'm having a little it's a little hard to pull these uh, flat washies off but I found one here that I thought would be a good mix so now that we have that ready I'm just decorating the other side of our cover and this one uh, has a really nice paint sleep repeat type um, little sentiment. So now I'm getting my rounding tool here and rounding the edges of our cover. And it's time to laminate our friendship journal. So here is our laminated cover. We are going to trim uh, the excess paper here on the side and it's come out really nicely here. We'll be rounding out the edges as well in just a bit. Here we go. So what have you guys been doing um, to entertain yourselves while we're kind of staying at home? I've been crafting a lot with the kids, reading some books, and um, cleaning the house. So here I am, I'm just, uh, see this is where the score lines come handy. You're able to kind of just fold it down again and kind of reinforce those score lines. So we have the spine over there and now I'm going to fold the side where um, we have our flap for our closure. So I'm just folding it in making sure we have those score lines reinforced. Uh, the middle one here got a little um, wonky so I'm going to just rescore that to a quarter of an inch and unfold it again so that we have uh, the right size for our spine. So just adjusting that and so now we have the cover. I'm going to put it aside and we are going to work on our accordion insert here. So I've cut eight of these three by four inch sheets and picked different patterns and colors from our paper pad and then she had uh, these blank washi that I thought would be great to piece and use it as our adhesive for our pieces here. So um, when you're laying it out you want to just put a little bit of a gap there so that when we fold it you have some leeway for uh, your pages so it's not so tight and so I'm just adjusting that and I'm going to be applying some of the washi on top so uh, for this insert, I thought it would be a great addition for my snail mail friend to either do some art in, like a little art journal, or she can do some journaling in it as well. So I'm just going to lay that down and then I'm going to do the same for the other uh, pieces here. So I'm just adjusting that so that they are equally the same with the gaps there. So now we are applying the third washi and uh, you can also use fabric if you'd like and put it in between. Now before I put this all together I wanted to create a little closure and I have this yellow lace that I'm going to lay, I'm going to put inside, I'm going to tape it down. So I'm using some double side tape and we are going to tape down the right side of that lace down face, and then the wrong side facing up. So I'm using some double side tape here to hold it down and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. 
And then after that, I'm just going to trim the excess washi at the top and bottom. And then I'm just going to apply some glue so that we can adhere our sheets here for our accordion insert. But first, let me trim this washi. This one I'm just going to fold over and I'm going to trim the top. I'm going to trim a little bit and fold over the washi just to hold everything in place. And now the glue's dried up, so I'm going to apply some glue there. And uh, we'll fold this over and I'll show you how this all comes together. Now you can use double side uh, tape as well if you prefer. I just decided to use my Elmer's glue. And so you can see some of the paper has a little bit of uh, excess. Just go ahead and trim that if you come across that problem. Just trimming a little bit of that to even out our little insert. So I trimmed that and now I'm folding our cover like so. I'm going to open it up to show you our accordion insert. So I am again going to use some of our washi and I'm looking for some words that I can put and I've found one start the art. I think it's perfect for this insert. So we have that and the pages look a little plain so I thought I'd again uh, make use of these wonderful washi strips. We have these colorful swatches and I'm going to put it on this side where the yellow is just to give it a little bit more of color. And I love this image as well with the color swatch and there's a, a little illustration of a lady that I'll be adding there in just a sec. But first I'm putting that skinny strip of blue and white. And I'm also going to add some word sentiments again here. So let's see where else we can decorate. The backside definitely needs some color. So here is one. I love the watercolor there. And then I am just going to pull uh, these beautiful images of these uh, girls that she has on her washi. And going to add some more. So here's the one I was talking about earlier. Love the red, like almost red swatch of color. And at the bottom, you have this awesome image of this lady with the teal blue top. So now I am going to see if I can add a few more uh, word captions or uh, washi strips. And there's one that says, I think, flow with your imagination. So I thought that would be great for a little cute art uh, accordion insert. So now that we have our accordion insert ready, I might put a pocket inside our cover to hold that. Then I found this little sticker that says this journal belongs to and I thought that would be perfect to include. And so now the next step is to create the closure and kind of decorate the flap. So um, I have some of these spare parts brads and they look wonderful. I think they would fit well with that spring theme. Um, I have a few here that I'm eyeing. So I like that yellow, I'm still, and I like also this other yellow floral here as well. But I'm, I want to try out this blue gem. It looks really pretty and I love blue, so we'll have a look and see if that fits. I'm just going to mark that with my marker and I'm just going to poke a hole so we can insert our bread. <clears throat> now this cute little mats from Daiso is $1.50. It works really well as a portable cutting board. So here is our gem bread. It looks good, but let's see. Um, I Instead of Velcro, I'm thinking of a magnet closure. So I'm just going to put those 
negative and positive together and this one's a gray basic brand so I got it from Amazon it's really nice and thin so here I am flip-flopping between the brads I think because it is a spring theme I'm going to go with a floral and I think the yellow brad looks pretty nice on there and now I am going to attach our magnets in place now I just realized it's not going to be covered but I think it's going to work okay so if you'd like your magnets not to be seen you can cover it so here is our magnet closure there's a closer look at that um, so I've decided to go with the yellow uh, floral for the brad I really like this purple one too but I think I'll use that for a different project so here let's have a look at our accordion insert it says start the art and then you have some decorative washi and that says let your imagination flow it says make more messy mistakes and there's that beautiful image there and then here it says trust the mess so there is our little insert so here's another look at our completed cover. It is laminated. I've added a decorative floral brad. We have a magnetic closure. And then I have used uh, Jane's collage paper and decoupage, this beautiful image. Some of her washi strips. This one says queen of everything. Inside we have this beautiful paper as well. Uh, we have a sticker that says this journal belongs to with the day, month, and year. And here's some of the decorative washi that I've added as well on this side. And also more washi, just a little strip that says paint, sleep, eat, repeat. And I'm planning to just uh, probably add a pocket here or on this side. And then we will be creating our booklet in our next video, a postcard, and some artist trading coins. So I'll see you then. I hope you guys enjoyed this little craft with me video. See you at part two soon. Thanks again for watching Karamia's Corner. See you next time. Bye.